Hey everybody, it's Andy Sachs with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team, and we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're not doing a small business interview, but we're going to interview Mandy Monica. Mandy, Hi. how are you? Good, Thank how are you? you? I'm good. Thank you for joining us. Mandy is a jack of all trades when it comes to Newtown and her involvement in the town. And if you've seen our last newspaper publication, Mandy's going to be our hero around town this month's publication for all that you do. And because a lot of it's just fascinating to me. And there's stories like this countless around Newtown. And, and this is just one of them. But Mandy, first I want to start with when. Okay. Women involved in Newtown. And I know it's only one eye, but it's women involved in Newtown. I had not heard about this organization before, but you guys are doing a lot of good. Tell me about it. What is it? What is your mission? Okay, we started as the um, Newtown Wives. And it turned into, it was Newtown JCs at one time. Yeah. And some of the people that wanted to join it weren't wives of JCs. So they decided to branch away. And they started this group called Women Involved in Newtown. Now, the first thing they really started doing was Thanksgiving baskets. So we found out through the town. how many years? This started 50 years ago. Over 50 years yeah. ago. Baskets have been over 30 years. Okay. It started with, I think, the guidance counselor at the high school. Started doing it in her garage, putting together baskets of just Thanksgiving food. Then it grew to right now, we do at least 80 to 90 families in Newtown through social services. We give them enough food from Thanksgiving to Christmas, including canned goods, non-perishables, right. peanut butter, coffee, tea, bread, and a Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, it's amazing to think, you know, we live in this bubble here in Newtown, right? And we think everybody's okay. But there's a lot of need in Newtown. And the, the organizations that you're heading up and are a part of fill that need. And it just feels good. I mean, my, my wife has been involved in it. I know we've given to it. Um, I just had no idea who I was giving to or what the organization was or to be able to put a face with the name. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is the most rewarding thing in your experience with WIN that you've experienced so far? Well, when, we, when people come to, what we do is we get all the food together. We have people come all morning, volunteer, pack the food, sort the food. We get the food from the schools in town and we get the food from Fraser Woods. Middlegate does 25 families and they also help with turkey trots. A turkey trot is yep. a run where the kids drop off a canned good and they get to run around the school and help out as well. Yeah. And they get to know that all their food is going to, to help the town to help people and help town. Thanksgiving. Yeah. And help people right here in our community. Right. Yeah. So each family gets 20 to 30 bags of food. It's a huge operation. It is enormous. It takes a full day. Where do you operate out of? We have been operating out of United Methodist Church. Okay. But we're thinking possibly the community center. We're not sure this year. Great, great. If you haven't been to the new community center, you got to stop by and see it. It's awesome. It, it is amazing. Which is a great segue into something else you're doing. <laughs> Better Day Cafe. This is awesome. It's amazing. And we're so proud to be a part of it. And we started at Grassroots. We are the first people in the community center at the cafe to work and start a business. This is through the school system. It is. Through and Newtown Public Schools. Tell me a little about who is staffing the cafe. Okay, it's our stu what happens in Newtown is if you graduate and your special needs, you don't go right out into the world. We give you a certificate that says you have fulfilled academics, but then you come to us for three years till you're 21. And at during that time, you're doing resumes, and this cover just letters, opened, by the way. and we're running a business from the beginning. So every day you come in and we have to bake the baked goods so we could sell them, yep. make the quiches so they could be for sale. We have to put together, what else are we doing? We're doing the hummus so we could sell that and we do buffalo chicken. And then we have to cut up vegetables so we could serve it with the hummus yep. and the chicken dip. And, 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 and then we have to pedal it over to sell it. Well, and they're, and they're interacting with the customers. Right. Right. They're learning, they're learning the business aspect and the sales aspect, let alone the prep and the money and all those things. And I'm hearing nothing but good things. Oh, good. I had no idea you were involved. This is totally impromptu, by the way. It came in and said, I'm also doing this. I'm like, this is incredible. Because I've heard from a dozen people in the past two weeks how cool this is, mm -hmm. how good this is and how fulfilling it is for the folks that are working there as well. It is, so. it definitely is, and how great for the kids who started out not knowing anything about working with people, and now they're turning into, like they, everybody knows, you know, we wear name tags, yep. they know their names. And, and this is what our community is all about. Our community is about inclusion. Our community is about supporting each other, and the two activities, the win and the cafe, are two things you're deeply a part of, which are supporting kind of the core values of Newtown, Connecticut. Right. That's pretty cool. Now there was one more you were a part of. Yes, Easter baskets, and okay. that's my, my big passion. Okay. We started out of our house, out of my house on Beckett Village, and what we did was somebody at social services, we had stuffed animals left over from another project, and I said, what should we do with them? And they said, hey, can you do Easter baskets? So we spent about $500 in candy, and we get the baskets all donated. All the stuffed animals were gently used and donated, yep. mostly Middlegate. And we put together baskets for hospice, healing hearts, AIDS Interfaith Ministry and Social Services of Newtown. And we talked, and St. Rose. 
And, and listen, I know we mentioned kind of Middlegate, but you have a background being at Middlegate. I before. do. I was subbing. I've been subbing there for 14 years, so I'm still so subbing kind of every an now end, and But this is open to all the schools to participate. Yes, yes. And we would love more of the schools to participate right. at a higher level. And again, this is this is this is why we started this kind of Heroes Around Newtown is to bring people forward that maybe some people know, not everybody knows, or see you around. And I guarantee people are going to watch this video or read the article and say, I've seen that person. That's really cool what they do. Maybe I want to get involved, and that's what it's all about. And we are, when, you can call me anytime. My number is 203-426-5600. 203-426-5600. If you want to get involved in WIN or the Easter baskets or learn more about this even, Better Day Cafe. And I'm the only Monica in the phone book. I will be there for coffee soon. Yes. Mandy, Monica, thank you so sure. much. Appreciate your Great. time. Great, thank Thanks. you.